Don't ever feel jealous of me. You don't know what I've been through or all the work I've had to put in to try to make myself valuable. To make myself valuable, not try, but to make myself valuable. Somehow, some way, to somehow preserve myself from complete destruction. It would come very early in life. Don't feel jealous of anybody. It's weakness. It's weakness. You know, whoever I look upon, uh, I always see uh, glaring weaknesses of some sort. And I say to myself, you know, I would not want that road to hope. You know? There are people out there who said uh, they think that I've stolen their thunder. That because of me, they can't, they can't produce anything. You know, <laughs> they fail at self-realization. You know, there's some kind of way that they could put a, a, you know, a truthful and unique message out there, you know. There's some kind of way to do it. But they're just lazy, you know. They're just lazy. Life poured out on the paper. No particular order. The citrine stone, and maybe it'll help my stomach cooperate with me. I just seem not to have much of an appetite. I think it's related every related to low testosterone. Similarly, of the, the the sun's rays without the heat, or so they say. Anyway, it's a pretty good impression. I've read a pretty good impression is how they described it. languid poses. It feels 
all sort of uh, effeminate. Uh, I'm just trying to relax, that's all. I've got this spreading ache in my back, my upper back. It's really concerning. I You know, it, it was great because afterwards, uh, we're lying there in this this pseudo post coital bliss. It was merely electromagnetic, and uh, I felt my uh, my chakras uh, uncoil, and hers too, and and they uh, uncoil and begin to tangle up in uh, in counter rotation, like two storms. You know? And, and with that, uh, all this, this wonderful information was uh, being um, encoded. Who's the wickedest witch in the whole wide world? Infinity, infinity violet. Who's the... Wickedest witch in the whole wide world, infinity, infinity violet. Who's the wickedest witch in the whole wide world, infinity, infinity violet? So that's the uh, the intro to the the cartoon. And she's strolling along with a big smile on her face. Birds alighting on her shoulder. But she's a good witch, you see. She's building herself up for the, the big battle with the Whore of Babylon. <laughs> but we'll see who gets defeated in... Uh, and sequestered and so forth. Have I encroached on somebody's land? Maybe. Gotta get out of this open area. I'm a gunner. You know, uh, transgenderism is really just a kind of disease. I don't want people of the, the future to, to be suffering from it. There are nettles sprouting up. This will be good. They poisoned my LSD with strychnine. That's half of what's the matter with me. That and those frequency sets. Hmm. It's a bright, bitter tang to the miner's lips. <laughs> Holy tree. Holy smokes, Batman. (sighs) 
So, you know, <laughs> you never go full crazy. It's good advice, Chris told me. Hmm. Really, uh, when you transition to the opposite gender, doesn't work for well um, in every respect you see your your bone structures were built up on a particular uh, hormonal uh, profile so the structures are quite different men they have denser bones than women because they can afford generally to range around more and get uh, you know the, 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 the pick of the minerals then they bring stuff back for the their women folk and just kind of got to make do with what's uh, left over, you know. So that's been the pattern, you know, throughout history. You got inherent in, in, inequalities. So at any rate, uh, your bones just kind of crumble if you... Uh, remove the the uh, the support of the, the testosterone and uh, replace that with estrogen you just don't have the um, you don't have the written codes in the form of uh, genes for it for good appropriation of uh, these uh, these uh, the mineral reinforcement of the uh, the bone matrix you know I'm going to harvest some of these nettles, make a few of them. <sighs> now maybe I was always um, somewhere near the center of the gender spectrum, uh, I suppose. Even before the age of seven, you know. So perhaps, you know, my brain, for example, has more estrogen receptor sites than is average, possibly. Possibly. So, you know, if I was on, uh, if I was, if my testosterone was blocked, uh, quite a bit and and I had more est available estrogen uh, I'd, I'd be a little calmer and um, I'd even uh, kind of you know, be a little calmer and, and, and more compassionate and uh, I'd even veer into irrationalism you know which is an all too common trap for the, the female of the species. And things, you know, things that uh, don't faze me now, you know, would be, come to be quite scary, you know. So I, I, I'd withdraw, you know, quite a, quite a bit more from from society maybe do research out in a place like this it's just part of a larger pattern you know it's part of a larger pattern But I'll tell you this, 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 this parasite, this, 
infinity violet. Well, I'd just be a host for her. And she would consume me. She would char me down to ashes. But I do wonder what we'd, uh, what we would accomplish. I think we could be playing at a high level. You know. I think we could be doing some actually, truly revolutionary things. Not this low-level, deplorable trash. So I built up this big trash, you know. It's all just reverse-engineered stuff. It's stuff that's been done a million times before, hundreds and even thousands of years back. These these uh, technology sets, you know. That's that's anybody's game, and that's the all kinds of low life do do this kind of stuff that that I've been uh, contributing towards. I was programmed to do this, you know, because it, it scars your soul, and you know these other black operatives uh, they don't want to be involved in that kind of stuff. But they just, they like the, they want the products of its, of its devil development, you know? That's the game, that's the strategy that they're using, that's the... They figure you're damned anyway, you know? In this world, you know? If reincarnation exists, why well, you generate a lot of bad karma for yourself. You know. Oh, she is really quite something. What a what a hard charger. <laughs> hmm. You know, despite despite uh Despite cultivating this this sort of female alternate personality, you know, despite being forced into that, you know, uh, feelings are really, really very important. Uh, feelings point at a deeper truth than is uh, is available to the the strictly rational uh, left brain uh, side. So, you know, uh, it's kind of a, well, catch-22, I guess, you could say. Who's the wickedest witch in the whole wide world? Infinity, infinity violet. Yes, men can afford range around. Got him by the hook. <laughs> <laughs> what a story, Mark. You know, I am taking a homeopathic HGH right now. Which does, uh... Uh, regulate uh, bone growth in actual fact. But you see it takes about seven years to cycle out every every last constituent part of the body, you know.
So perhaps I can maintain my suppleness at a deep structural level, regardless of whatever kind of path I choose. Listen, um, you know, the best way to do research is on yourself. And I would like to, uh, transgender people uh, uh, to have better lives, you know. Because as of right now, it's as though they're sort of uh, thrown into a type of purgatory. And it's just not something I can, uh, I can countenance uh, easily. Maybe I should eat that ruby. You know, some stones are toxic. Stones like uh, the hematite, it rusts away, you know. It's the stone that bleeds a red rust. And rust is harmful for your heart. And there's lapis lazuli, which all these, uh, these uh, microwave emitter uh, enthusiasts uh, really don't like. You know, it, it uh, changes all the uh, the harmonics. You know, it's a it's from this old old technology. The uh, the the Egyptians didn't even know how to reproduce. Then there's fairy crosses, which are synthetic. You're tearing through all this uh, these different dimensions when you fiddle with one in your pocket. The cats and the blackbirds, they'll, they'll begin following you. They'll all su subscribe to your channel. They'll all subscribe to your channel. These ravens, they killed a, a young uh, possum, a possum baby, and left it in my path, you know. They were concerned for me. <laughs> and they wanted me to keep moving this, this particular uh, direction. They've had enough, you see. They've just had enough. Now that I think about it, this uh, tongue flick thing that I've developed, Maybe it's just uh, part of the natural order. I don't know that I was programmed to do this subliminally. Maybe I'm tasting molecules on the wind. That's what it is. It's a way to remember after all this damage done. It's a way to remember. After all this, this damage that's been done. Okay, so before we go, I just want to let you know that this is all uh, artificial. It's completely fake. Now, I'm an artist, and really, nobody should do what I'm doing. Nobody at all. It's really not the prudent course. Don't you know? But I am me, and I am free. I bought this t-shirt recently, or rather, uh, my elder brother did, a long time ago. Perhaps in preparation for this day, he wanted to save my soul, you know? 
do its part in that direction. Yes. We're all out here on this endless plane. Encountering angels in the woods. And as we traipse home, the devils are trotting after us in the sewers. And listening to our conversations, they're mind mapping us. They're just people, as they've, they've always been. And they know not what they do. So here we can roll in this great symphony and could be really something, I think. Really something else. <laughs> Take that to the shareholders, Chris. Take that to the shareholders, Ryan. Take that to the share. Take that one to the shareholders, Ryan. We'll just see how it goes. All right. Infinity Violet grew up with a, a knife that was always sharp. Always razorous in its implementation. Then one day at the age of nine, uh, she was chased into the woods by a gang of ruffians. She had to hide out there for a whole week. And she found, to her horror, that the knife began to get a little dull. You know, there were many uh, uh, seemingly magical artifacts in her, uh, in her life up until that year. But she realized uh, that it was her father who had sharpened it, just secretly. He'd taken it out of her room, he'd gone and sharpened it up where it would shave hair off his arm and then he put it back just exactly where where it was before he would take a video to make sure to make sure he got it just right so this is this is a, a portion of the uh, the ideas for this fairy tale that I'm concocting You know, you can do the same, too, if you, if you like. You, you can do something equally uh, majestic, you know? Why not? 